How's it going guys? So we're trying to sort out the E60. Uh, as you know in the past, I think I said something about it. The battery charger, the battery was junk that we we're trying to program with. The battery charger did not keep up. We we're doing all the updates and we we're trying to reprogram everything and it bricked the uh, CCC or the iDrive. So and that's why we bought the, um, the ICOM Next but that doesn't work for this. So um, Dean found a way to, to get around all of that. So we're gonna show you that right now. Okay, so we're using InstaP uh, at this point and uh, Dean's gonna explain to you what's going on here exactly and hopefully this is gonna work out. So Dean, if you wanna tell him what's, what's going on just exactly at this point. Yeah, so what happened is Wink FP during the flashing of the iDrive and all the mask gateway, the battery voltage went too low, dropped, and caused the eye drive to brick, and also the modules. The only way to re re redo their modules and to recode them is via ISTP. ISTP, the icon next, didn't want to work, couldn't get it to work with Windows 10. So I've had to recode and reprogram the most via the E60 to, get, to make the car think that the most is actually active when it's not. Now, due to me doing that, I make it manipulating the car and manipulating this to pee. I've managed to make it program believing that there's a most connector active when there's actually no most connector in the car. Now, because of that, we've managed to get the programming system to work. Um, and now, as you can see, everything's being programmed via this to pee. All the car's control units and the car's communication computer. And we do have a lot of issues with uh, the run flat indicator too with that ECU. And um, Dean got around that and, and got it all to start here. And the telephone module. The telephone module was down due to the iDrive and not picking it up, which will be will happen due to the telephone module connects to the iDrive. But because the iDrive was down, the telephone module was made. It was making the computer think that the telephone module was completely corrupt, which needed reprogramming. Which, as as you can see, has been done. And the telephone module is back online. The run flat indicators are back online. And now all it's doing is programming the whole mask gateway. Then it's going to program the car communication computer, recode everything, and then resave the new settings. The whole reason, as you can see, it didn't save the individual data is because if it saved the individual data from the brick module, it's the P then would be replacing all the firmware that bricked programming and coding. So it doesn't save the individual data from a bricked module. It is going to rewrite everything and then resave everything back to the original programs of what was on there before it was bricked. And also I might add too, our voltage is up here on SAP, it displays it. It's really good. So we should be good this time with no issues. Uh, so I guess we'll be back here in a little bit and uh, have an update for you guys. All right, so here's where we're at guys. We got it done. Now, here's what the situation is. We did get the new ICOM in, the older version. You can see it's different. And the next ICOM next, which is right here is going back. That thing is, it might work on a F chassis car, but it will not work on this. Um, so Dean got it all done here using the win KFP. We tried to use Insta P, but the problem is that damn ECU that's missing in the trunk. I thought it was a microcomputer. If you guys seen the, the previous videos, that was actually the run flat computer for the tires, the pressure sensors. So the way Insta P works, if anything's wrong, you can't you can't use it for that. And uh, so that was kicking out also the Bluetooth module. Uh, that was having an issue. So those two things would not let us program through Insta P. So when he used WinKFP, it took a little while, but everything worked. And now you can see the iDrive is all back to normal. And the radio's on, everything sounds normal. And that was pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish coding off the run flat indicator. So all that's gone. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Quite the fiasco. 99.9% .9 of it was that stupid ICOM Next was screwing us. And so now we got that solved up. That should be it. So thanks for watching guys. We'll be back uh, very soon. Put putting the E39 engine back in.
So stay tuned.